Not all lenses are created equal, so why don't crop sensor lenses work on full frame and what is an image circle? Now lens manufacturers nowadays make lines of lenses for full frame cameras and also they will make a special li line um, just for crop sensor cameras. So such as Canon has their very own EFS line of lenses like this 10-22 right here. This is designed for crop sensors whereas the full frame line are called EF lenses. On Nikon, the crop sensor lenses are called DX and the full frame lenses are called FX. And with other lens, uh, lens manufacturers as well, such as Sigma, Tokina, and Tamron, they also have lenses that are exclusive for crop sensor bodies. Now, full frame lenses, such as EF lenses, can work just fine on crop sensor bodies. But why don't the crop sensor lenses work on a full frame body? Now, it all has to do with an image circle. Now, what is an image circle, you might ask? If you uncap the rear of the lens and take a look at the back of your lens, you'll notice that it is round. Your lenses are cylindrical, the glasses inside are round. So the image that comes out of your lens that's projected out of the lens is actually round as well. That's why it's called an image circle. It's basically a circle. So your image is a circle, then how does that explain your picture which is rectangular? Now, your picture is rectangular because your sensor, your image sensor inside your camera, is rectangular. So the part of the image circle that falls onto your image sensor becomes your final image. So although the image circle is a circle, but your sensor is rectangular, and um, what falls onto your sensor is being recorded, so that is why your image ends up as the same shape as your sensor, if that makes sense. So given the image circle, um, full frame lenses have a bigger image circle than crop lenses. That is where they are different. Crop lenses have a small image circle, whereas full frame lenses have a bigger image circle. Now, full frame lenses can work on crop sensors, um, no problem, because crop, uh, full frame lenses have a big image circle, whereas crop sensors are small, but the image circle is bigger than the sensor anyways, so you won't notice anything um, out of the blue. But if you were to use one of these, a crop sensor lens on a full frame camera, the image circle will be too small to cover the entire sensor. So the image circle doesn't cover the whole sensor, hence you'll get crazy black vignetting on the edges of your image. That is what happens if you try to use a crop sensor lens on a full frame body. Now to uh, demonstrate this, here is a picture taken using a Canon 5D Mark III using a Sigma 18-35 f1.8 art lens. Now the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 art is designed for crop sensor bodies, so it has a small image circle. As you can see, where the sensor protrudes out of the image circle, you see all that vignetting going on. So that is why crop sensor lenses don't work on full frame bodies. However, one advantage of using a crop sensor lens is because of the small image circle, the overall size and weight of the lens can be reduced because you don't need huge chunks of glass inside the lens. So that is why the size and weight of the lens can be kept down. So they are lighter and they are more portable. Now for Canon lenses, there are uh, there is another huge reason why they don't work on a full frame body. Now for crop sensor lenses um, on Canon, they're called EFS lenses. And if you take a look at the back of the lenses, the back of the lens actually protrudes a little bit more compared to the standard EF lenses. Now, basically they have bigger butts. So why is this big butt an issue? It's because of the flange distance. Now the flange distance is basically the distance between the rear of a lens and your camera sensor. Now with a crop sensor body and an EFS lens, you get a shorter flange distance because of the longer rear of the lens. Now this short flange distance on a crop sensor camera is possible because the mirror inside the DSLR is actually smaller. So having a smaller mirror, you have more space inside the camera to fit in the rear of the lens. That is why the lens can be bigger, the back of the lens. Now on a full frame camera, this can be a huge problem because 
the mirror inside a full frame camera is bigger, is much, much bigger and bulkier. Now that can be a huge issue because if you were to take a picture and the mirror slaps down, it would hit the rear of your lens and that could damage your lens and your body pretty, pretty badly because um, it's actually quite fragile in there. So to prevent that, Canon even has a separate mounting index for EFS lenses. So you won't mount it onto a full frame body by accident. So that is pretty much it about crop sensor lenses versus full frame lenses. If you have any questions and comments, just post them in the comment section below. Uh, I'll have the link to the blog post to this video in the description as well. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.